I'm Rory Reid, I'm in... I'm Rory Reid, I'm... <laughs> I've waited a long time to get my hands on one of these Alfa Romeo 4Cs. It's one of the only cars that I've seen in ages that I thought I'd buy one of these with my own money. If I had money, I'd remortgage the house, I'd sell my kidneys. Actually scratch that, my kidneys are all shriveled up from years of bad decisions. But I'd sell my granny's kidneys, I'd remortgage my mum's house. It's that deep. Alfa, take my money and these. Sorry granny. I love the power, the aggression. I love the f they made a hybrid. Yeah, they made a hybrid. I don't get it, man. The Panamera is not for vegans. It's a big luxury brute. It hates vegans. No offense to vegans. I'm just saying that this is the kind of car that sticks two fingers up to everyone and says, you're gonna love me. And if you don't, well then suck my diff. Making it all nice for the environment, it's, it's just a travesty. Do it to the Cayenne, do it to the Boxster. Don't do it to the big dog. So I'm going to do a handling test with a difference. This is my shaken but not stirred test. My glamorous Bond girl with the nicely manicured nails and hairy arm here will be holding a martini as I drive around the streets of Monte Carlo. And we're going to see how well the suspension copes without spilling, <laughs> spilling the drink all over the interior of a hundred grand Infinity FX Sebastian Vettel edition. I'm doing about 50 miles an hour into this guys all over my lap. Not surprisingly, that's coping quite well. I'll just lick a bit of martini off my arm. Don't drink and drive, kids. <laughs> my bad. Let's try that again. Squirkles. Squirkles. Squirkles everywhere. There's squirkles on the screens. That's what? <laughs> The steering wheels are squircle. The horns are squircle. The wingman is squircle. The squared circles are squircle. They're everywhere! This is the Rolls Royce Wraith. It's a car you'll want to dress up nice for, and yet you'll only ever drive it with bare feet. It's a car that can leave an Aston Martin for dead, and yet you'll only ever drive it well below the speed limit. It's also a car that's quite hideous to look at. Some might say it represents the very worst of humanity. And yet it's a car that everybody loves. Let me show you why. One of the biggest problems, I think, is with the looks. It's not as mean as it could have been. This is a car that can do 0-60 to in 4.4 seconds. Not a lot can keep up with it. And yet, if you're not an M aficionado, then you might not appreciate the sheer menace. Here it is, Lotus Exige S, baby. Now, in case you're not familiar with all the E's in the Lotus clan, the Elise, the Elan, the Evora, the Exige is the crazy one. It's that member of the family that when it turns up for a gathering, everyone just thinks, don't talk to him in case he does something really inappropriate. Like murder everyone. Suddenly the car's communicating again. And it's like seeing or hearing for the first time. It's insane. And do not get me started on the power. The power is ridiculous. You've got such acceleration. It's utterly, utterly brutal. It's animalistic. It's psychotic almost. It makes me afraid, but it also makes me feel alive. And that is something you've really got to applaud. I love this thing. I really do. So let's get back to the original question. What is the best hot hatchback in the world? If you were one of these people that said it was the Golf GTI, sorry, but you're wrong. There's a new king in town, the Golf GTI Performance Pack. It adds so much more without costing a lot more for it. It's more fun to drive, more powerful, handles better, and it doesn't even lose anything in that transition. The Golf GTI is still king, but this, the performance pack, that's the definitive version. We don't need to do much with your hair because I like the length. Yeah. I just need to get rid of any like, there you oh go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. 
No, no, now it's the right length. That's not a little bit of hell. This isn't your ordinary uh, day at the office, I've got to say. I'm now driving up a ramp into the back of a Boeing 747. You got any uh, sandwiches? <laughs> I'll have a gin and tonic. <laughs>